Let me start with the fact that it's actually the world's most open economy as far as free trade agreements with over 80% of the world's economy. It's well positioned geographically in the center of the Americas. And if you put our hemisphere together, you're looking at the largest economy in the world with Mexico in the sweet spot for that market. We started as Siemens in Mexico 116 years ago. And one of our first projects was to put in the power plants to light up Reforma, the main avenue in the city. And since then, we've just had so many firsts, including these days, one of the first major wind farms in Latin America. Wind farms in Mexico make lots of sense because there's places in Mexico where the wind is so good that the wind farms become highly efficient. And besides that, this country is quite concerned about and interested in renewables and in clean energy and in the environment. Mexico now is the least expensive country to do business in, manufacturing, engineering, delivering to the U.S. Much less expensive than China, India, Brazil, and many other countries. And the other fascinating part of Mexico that nobody seems to know is that most countries in the world don't graduate the number of engineers that Mexico graduates each year. I've enjoyed so much living in Mexico, and I thought, well, if I'm going to stay in Mexico, why not also be a Mexican citizen? So I'm proud to say I've applied for Mexican citizenship and I'm in process. The culture and the history here is just absolutely fascinating. Tens of thousands of years of history. Mexico City is the most continuously lived in city in all of the Americas. It's a beautiful country with so many places to explore and learn, whether it's beaches, mountains, lakes, cities. And I've made probably the dearest friends in my life here in Mexico. There's nowhere more exciting from my perspective because it's like the country nobody knows about that's about to become the place to invest and grow. <laughs>